Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 26, Session 3, Writing Decimals as Equivalent Fractions. We are on page 545, so go ahead and turn your book there. Eli collects animal cards. He says that five hundredths of his cards are endangered animal cards. What fraction of his cards are endangered animal cards? So it's wanting us to write five hundredths as a fraction. So if I were to put this in a, in a place value chart that has decimals and fractions, this is a little bit big. So this is ones, tenths, hundredths. I would write it as zero for no whole numbers, decimal point, zero, five. Well, since this says five hundredths, that means that there's five one hundredths. You can also use a, like a fraction model that has the hundred squares. And you would literally just shade five of them. Okay, let's turn to page 546. Right here is a better image of what it looks like with those shaded. And then down here is what it looks like when you write it in a place value chart. We're going to skip 547. And go on to 548. Write 9 tenths in words and as a fraction. So you write it just like you say it, 9 tenths, and you write it just like you say it, 9 tenths. Write 89 hundredths in words and as a fraction. So 89 hundredths. Notice how we have that THS on the back of all of them when they're a decimal or 89 hundredths. Number nine, select all the fractions that are equivalent to two tenths. So we would have two tenths, or we can add a zero onto both of those and make them 20 hundredths. So two one hundredths, no. 20 one hundredths, yes. Two tenths, yes. 20 tenths, no. 100 over 2, no. 10 over 2, no. So your answers are B and C. If you're feeling like you're getting this, go ahead and try um, pages 549 and 550 on your own. Hopefully by now you're kind of getting the hang of how decimals and fractions are related to each other. Okay, on 549, it says shade 34 hundredths. So that means we're going to shade three rows of 10 and then four blocks. Show it on a place value chart. There's no hundredths, or there's no ones place, so we put a zero, decimal, 34 hundredths. Write it in words. 34 hundredths. Make sure you have that THS. Write it as a fraction. Well, there's 34 shaded of 100. Page 550. Tell it whether each statement is true or false. Three tenths is the same as three one hundredths. Well, even when you read that, you can tell that three tenths and three one hundredths are not the same. Three one hundredths is the same as three one hundredths. Yes. Three tenths is the same as thirty hundredths. Well, if you add, if you change this three tenths and add a zero on the back of it, it can become thirty one hundredths because those are equivalent fractions. So that one is true. Three tenths equals three tenths. That one is true also. Write two fractions equivalent to four tenths. Well, the easiest one to do 
is 4 tenths. And then to make an equivalent fraction, if we give it 100, we can make 40 one hundredths. Which words or fractions name the same number as 62 hundredths? Well, that one says 62 hundredths. Six and two hundredths? Mmm, no, well maybe. No, because that would be six whole numbers and two hundredths, so that's not correct. Six tenths and two hundredths. Is there six tenths and two hundredths? Yes, there is. Sixty-two tenths? No. Sixty-two hundredths? Yes. The number line below shows one whole divided into tenths. Write the numbers in the boxes to label the missing fractions and decimals. Explain how you know what to write. So down here, we're, we're uh, labeling it just like a fraction. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. And up here you can see one tenth is the same as one tenth as you, if you write it. So down here, eight tenths would be the same as 0 0.8. That is it for lesson three. Um, on lesson four, I highly recommend you work on solving lesson four on your own. And I will put the answer, the answer pages on Google Classroom so that way you can take a look and see if you got your answers right.